Hi guys, uh, so we have just recently added a new question on our LLB platform regarding the symbols and instrumentation. So in this question, our basic structure is given to you and you just have to apply the symbol tense pattern here. So for those guys who don't know the symbol tense pattern, uh, I would suggest you like uh, you can go through some docs, but just for the highlights, so for the overview, let's say we are having a class called A. Okay, now if you want to create the instance of this class, what you will do, new A. If you want to create the instance or new object of this object method, and if you want to create another one, you will do this something like that. So every time you use this new operator, it will create a new instance for this class, and basically it is going to take more space for every object you create. Now in simpleton pattern, what we do is we make sure that that we can only create a single instance of the class. We could should not be able to create more than one instance of that particular class. Okay, that is what we do in the simpleton pattern. Now let's see how we can uh, what we are given in this question. So in this question, it's mentioned that only, as I said, only one instance of the class should be created. Provide a method to get the instance of the simpleton class. So we have to implement a method called get instance. Okay, from where every anyone will be able to get the instance of this class. For example, something like this. Um, no, just this. as mentioned here as something like this so whenever someone calls this one they should be able to get the instance for this class so in singleton pattern as we have discussed um, that there should be only one instance of that particular class so we should be how we will know whether that single instance has been created or not so for that we need to store that information in some variable so what we will do is we are going to create a variable for that so for storing the instance for storing the single instance which we want okay private static get and that one sorry so like this yeah so we can name it instance yeah now as i said uh, we don't want anyone to create the instance of this one so we will make sure that the uh, that the constructor of this class is private so no one can just directly get the instance of this like kind of bypassing the by bypassing the we are calling this one now the another another function which we need to create is this one which we have just uh, which is mentioned in the question also which is get instance which is going to be the api for anyone who want to get the instance of this class so this is how we will create the instance and this is going to be public so everyone can just call it pp okay now this as so now we were using this variable to hold the instance of this class so what we will do if instance is not is null that means no one has uh, created any instance for this yet so we will create that instance equal to new and if it is already created and then we don't need to do it and we will just return the instance for our of our class basically whatever we have defined okay so what we did is we define this private uh, variable this is static okay uh, i would suggest if you guys don't know what the use cases of your static i would suggest you to highly go through this one because this is very important to understand the simpleton pattern then we have created a constructor the private constructor and again we have another created another public static method which anyone can call to get the instance of this class but making sure that we are not creating more than one instance basically okay let's see so as you can see all the test cases got passed now there is one more thing there are two types of simulton basic simulton pattern which you will be doing one is lazy lazy initialization and other one is simple one basically okay or you can say or leave whatever something like this okay now as the name says what is lazy i mean you will only create the instance of the class when you really need it which is what we did here so this is what we can say is a lazy instantiation way of implementing the singleton pattern singleton method pattern whatever you want to say basically now there is another way to do the same thing okay what we can just do is we need this here and then 
now you can see this is also going to work. So both has some their own pros and cons. Whatever you wanna go with, both of them is like having what the all the features are similar to Anchor. Hence, you require making sure that you cannot create more than one listing for them.